I'm Sai with Things Very Good, and today I'm going to be able, to, I'm going to be showing you how to get the hard drive out of your old Mac computer so that you can get the data off of it. And the reason that you might want to know this is because if you pay somebody to do this for you, they're probably going to charge you a minimum of 150 to 200 dollars. So we have a special piece of equipment that looks like this right here. And it's a piece that you can actually transfer data from an old hard drive on to a new hard drive or onto your Mac or other computer. So this is what it looks like. We'll be showing you that again in a minute. But I wanna point out really quick, this is what you'll need to do. And if you care about the screws that are inside your Mac, if you care about keeping this Mac in good shape when you're removing the back, you're going to want to make sure that you use a very good screwdriver, unlike these ones. These ones are not very good. You need something that's really a good metal that's not gonna strip out your screws because if you wanna replace it good, you're gonna have to make sure you keep your screws intact. Now, that being said, there's little screws that look just like this one right here and they'll be in all of these places in the back. So you remove them, which I've already done. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to detach the battery, which is right here. And then you're going to remove the screws from this piece right here, which I've already done. There's two of them, one here, one here. Once you remove that, then you can pull this off here and then you can safely and easily remove your hard drive and now we've removed the hard drive, and the next step is to go ahead and retrieve the information off of this hard drive using our special tool or USB device to remove it. So we'll show that to you next. So now that we have detached our hard drive, we're going to take this StarTech USB 3.0 2.5 SATA HDD SSD cable with UASP. And <laughs> we're gonna open it up and you'll find a link to this in the description. And um, if you buy through this link, you pay the same price, but it does help things very good. So I appreciate any purchases made through this link. And we're going to take this, we're going to go ahead and attach it to this hard drive right here just like this. And now you can see I've attached another hard drive over here. And this is where I'm going to move files from here onto here. And so I've already pulled that up. I've got a volume here and um, I've created a folder so that I can put it into the folder I want to put it into on my other hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and insert this here and you're going to see it pop up here pretty soon and it may pop up on the desktop so we'll check that too and you see here here we have a Macintosh HD this is the hard drive that we are looking for and you can see there's a lot of different files in here and if you look under users then you can see there's some more files here we can go into the library application support. There's all kinds of different things that we can find in here, but we're just gonna look for the files that we wanna move. And um, you could potentially move all the files. Um, and so for example, you can see this is everything here pretty much in under um, me, which is the user for this particular. And so, you know, if I just open this up, you can see there's lots of different files here. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and move the whole user over to this other volume here, which is going to be, let's go ahead and pull that up in another file. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. And we are going to go into the new folder that I told you I created. So there it is right there. And this is how it works. You just take this folder right here and move it into that new folder and you can see it's starting to transfer there's a lot of files you can see so it's going to take a little while to do it 
but that is that's how you do it and so once you're done then you know that you have your file saved on here you can still save your old hard drive if you want so that you can check just in case you want to keep it around in case you have something else you want on there at another time but basically that is what you do to save yourself about 150 to 200 dollars having somebody else get your data off some broken computer that um, you don't want to use anymore now if you just want to know if your computer works you might it might be worth it in to take it into a tech center and have them check it out but if you literally know it's broken like this one was like it had water spilt on it and you just want to make sure that you get the information off the hard drive or the files that you want off the hard drive then this is a great way to do it so thank you for watching things very good i am Sai, and i look forward to seeing you in the next video and don't forget to share and like and subscribe if you liked this video and if it was helpful and be sure to hit the bell for notifications and thanks for watching